All right, hello and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about a bit of a complicated farm as it's got a lot of hidden things to it. But this farm is important for new players and some old players uh, as this is a pretty decent way to get some Iatan stars. So let's hop into how to farm void containers. So void containers contain many, many, many good mods. And you first get access to the void from Phobos, which is fairly early on with Teshub, uh, Hepit, and... Tyrannus. So this is a syndicate mission, so it's a higher level one, but this branch in general is going to be level 10 to 15. This is very, very important as there is a hidden like thing about the void containers in that the mods that is with are that are within them is level restricted. So at this first branch, the only rare important mods that you're going to have access to are going to be flow, continuity, and vital sense. So those are good mods, and there are plenty of other elementals and stuff that you can get from early game voiding, uh, but you're not going to get some of your other staples such as streamline and continuity and stretch and all that from this branch of the void. So there's potential for you to want to wait until later to come and do that. On the second branch, we have the, uh, it starts being level 20 to 25, which this opens up the rest of the drop table. However, uh, this is a mobile defense, which is a slow mission. This is a Sabotage, which is also a slow mission, and the spawning tile set for Sabotage is not as good as other missions. And then we have Survival, which is not a mission that is going to be very useful to you uh, for trying to farm the containers, as it is also a long mission where you're going to have to pay attention to like all like the survival business and all that, where you can't just freely run around and look for your containers. So, second branch... Just the missions aren't optimal. This is of the right level uh, for you to want to be doing some containers. Uh, and it will open up the rest of the important mods. On our third branch, however, we start with Uko. Uko is very, very good. Capture is very, very fast. And Capture, in general, has a very, very nice tile set. Often spawning you a treasure room, which is going to be the number one source of getting those good treasure room mods from the Aroken containers. So... With that, the mods that this farm is opening you up to are Flow, Continuity, Vital Sense, Feral Diffusion, Split Chamber, Hell's Chamber, Streamline, Stretch, Intensify, and Rage. Uh, there are a few other rare mods in there, and there are tons of elemental mods and other staples, but of the rares that are very, very good, that's the list. It's a pretty good list, and the drop rate is not bad. Now, we're going to do Uko to show you what the difference is between certain Hiroken containers. So... Let's get started. I'm bringing Excalibur. Uh, if you started as an Excal, Excal is amazing for farming void containers. Uh, and I would highly suggest that you get him. If not, if you have a, um, a heck with Scattered Justice in it, uh, if you take that, that can open containers through walls with its Justice proc. So that is also a possibility for an earlier player. Uh, and I'll be showing that off using the Vacor heck instead, which also has the Justice proc built in. So whenever you start off, what you're doing is you're looking for void containers, but you're looking for good void containers. There's a big difference between void containers in that there are some that are just straight up trash, and there are others that can contain a mod. Uh, trying to point out all of those is going to be my kind of goal here. And whenever you're searching for containers, you want to um, enter every room kind of knowing what you're getting into. This room will never contain a treasure. Uh, this room is just an end cap. And I'm going to try and impart to you what rooms are good and what rooms are bad. So, contrary to popular belief, this is a trash room. Nothing that you find in here, any containers, are ever going to be any good. Those rooms are always trash and will never contain any containers that actually have mods in them. This room, after I grab this capture target we'll talk about. A hack at low levels, or a hack at this level, just a regular hack. Uh, with a, a basic build can absolutely take down this target. They're not very tough. Uh, so, this is a container right here. This is a poor container. That container is never going to contain a mod. Usually the containers that are common and just kind of in the room, just randomly spread around, they can't contain mods. So, these ones over here, these aren't going to have a mod in them, so on and so forth. However, in this room, if you come up here... The containers that are in this room can contain a mod. So, open these up, and maybe you get a mod, or an Iatan star. So, this is your good set of void containers for this tile. Every time you get this tile, that room is going to be up there, and you should check it every single time. 
Uh, and we're going to go check this other branch over here to see if there are... Oh, we got this room. Uh, this room, these little pedestal ones right here, these are your good ones. There you go, there's a mod from that one. Any of the ones on these pedestals can have mods in them. And you're going to kind of get a feel for the drop table as I'm going through these. So that room's really good. Basically, if you see me skip a void container, it means that that one can't have a mod in it. Uh, and obviously, I don't have like an encyclopedic knowledge, per se, of uh, exactly which containers can and cannot. This room's trash. We'll never have any, so you can just skip it. Uh, and uh, like that right there, being able to just know that like the moment you look at a room that it's trash, like this room is also trash, um, that you're not going to get anything out of it is really important for making it faster for you. So this room again, uh, we know that we can skip everything that's on the ground and just head straight up into this room, grab a mod from this, grab a couple mods from this, and move on. Uh, spending time breaking every single crate in a room because there's so many spread around when they're all trash like that is going to waste a lot of your time, but if you know which ones are which, you don't have to waste your time. Uh, the, the crates in this room are also trash. And the reason you want to be checking every single area is for this. If an end cap becomes a treasure room like this one, this is your big haul. So, there's a couple different treasure rooms, and you're not sure, you're, it's never really clear what you're going to get until you hit this and head through this door right here. Uh, so I got the speed room. This is really easy. Uh, this is probably the easiest of the treasure rooms. All you gotta do is head across. Once you get used to it, no big deal. Head under here, hit the button. This is... All of these can totally be mods. All the ones on the sides in this room can also totally be mods. I, flush it. I think there was a rare in there. Oh, no, 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 never mind. That's the, it's the random look of these mods. Oh, there's split chamber. Yeah. All of those can be mods. They got split chamber in there. A really good get. There's an intensify. Really good source of rare mods. It's fantastic. So moving on from here. Uh, this is actually one of the sides I'm not sure on. Uh, I have never had these give me a mod, but also I have not broken these side crates enough to be 100% sure of that, so you can check them if you want to. But... I will say I am fairly certain that these side containers cannot give you a mod, and only the ones in the treasure room proper in this vault can give you it. Uh, so, that is something to note. There. I don't know, there's the two up there. These are also two that I need to keep checking. Oh, well, there's an eye 10 star. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, obviously, that treasure room is incredibly lucrative. I'm just gonna heal real fast. Obviously, at this level, these enemies don't really pose a threat to me. Um, but they could possibly pose a threat to you. You can just avoid all of them. You don't actually have to fight any of them. Surviving is important. You can come here as Rhino, though, and you'll be just fine. Uh, up here, come to this platform, hit the button. The mods in this little cubby hole can all have... Or, I'm sorry, the containers in this little cubby hole can all have mods. Uh, so we got the one there. That's a synthesis target, which I'm really not going to worry about. And just kind of remember to check all your sides. Mods up on top of here. Oh, sorry, I keep saying it. A broken containers up on top of here can have mods. And up here, these can have mods. As far as I know. And, oh, this room is very important. So this room is weird. This room is very, very strange. In that only the cubbyhole mods... Cubby hole containers can have mods in them. There's one there. But only the ones in these cubby holes can actually have mods in them. So checking all these is important. Any other containers around here, like this container down here, anything else, and these are explosive, so of course they're not going to have it. Any of those other containers down there are not going to have anything. Uh, it's only the ones in the little cubby holes that can have any. Yeah, you can see that we've already got, like, a pretty good haul. 
and then this room's trash, you don't have to worry about it. That, that right there, knowing which rooms are just trash and are never going to award you a mod, is really important. Uh, also, this lower area here, this like little hidden room down here, unless you hear a rare crate, not worth coming down here because that can never be a mod. Yeah, always checking all your side rooms. That's a trash room, just skip it. Another trash room, just skip it. Being able to do this fast, very important. That's just an end cap. And now we're at our final room here. Always just check, just to, just to make 100% sure. That's a trash room, so we can just head out of here. Yeah, one run, not so bad. Pretty solid overall. Uh, got intensify and split chamber out of that uh, treasure room, which pretty commonly spawns on this mission. Uh, and just some more general mods that if you don't have, you're going to want, like True Steel, uh, like Redirection, Regen is a solid one, Organ Shatter is needed, uh, good mods all around, Cryo Rounds if you don't have it is a like basic elemental that you're definitely going to want, uh, lots of good stuff, and bonus, out of that capture mission, we nabbed ourselves a Relic, so... There's just further and further bonuses for running these missions. We're going to run two more and see what we can get. If I don't get any treasure rooms that are different from the one we already had, then there's going to be a cut here, and we're going to show those. But let's head in. But I'm just doing this to try and give you a feel for what rooms are, like, the rooms to actually check, just so you're not wasting all of your time checking just trash containers because... You have no way to know that they're trash containers without doing this for like 10 hours, which I've done. So there's that. We received intel that somebody vital to enemy operations is here. Find them and capture them. Uh, so for this room, I'm pretty certain that they're all trash. But I get the feeling that that one can drop a mod. I've never headed to it, but I get the feeling that's a trash room. Yeah, I just keep checking that one. All, all the rest in that room are absolutely trash for sure. I'm pretty sure this whole room is trash, but... I keep checking that one. I don't know why. Uh, in this room, the down below... Any mods down here, or... Containers, containers down here, can have mods in them. So check those. Uh, it's also worth noting there are containers in the wall here, so if you're a scout, you can open the containers in the wall. Those can have mods in them. Oh good, we hit this very important room. So the capture target usually likes to spawn in this room. We're gonna get rid of him real quick. Let's take him real fast. Okay, so this room is very important. All of the containers in this room are trash except for those containers. Those containers on both sides, which you can't see from here, those containers can have mods. So this is part of the reason you take Excal or a uh, weapon with like a justice proc so that you can hit those. And you can use the scanner to see if you've gotten all of them. Here, let me just get rid of those guys. Uh, there we go. And you can see because I have Thieves Wit on that I got a mod out of there, and I can jump up and grab it. Doing that on both sides, pretty important. And we got an Argon Crystal and some other stuff out of that. Which is not great, but oh well. And then now we can just move on back to checking in. Here's a treasure room. Boom. Hopefully we get the other one. They all start pretty similarly. Uh, I would like to get Drop. Which I'll let you know if it's Drop. Drop is the harder one. Uh, I think this is drop. This is drop. Okay, so this is drop. This is the hardest, this is the hardest vault, but if you do it, it's the best vault. So the moment you get to the top, you're going to take this vent up, immediately kick and slide, so that you get rid of all of your momentum and get into this room. Okay, so th this is the big haul, because not only the end of this vault has stuff in it, all of these can have mods. There's two. And also, it's worth noting, the three times I've gotten Rage on my free-to-play account, it's been from this vault. And this vault shows up on this tile a lot. But if you're looking for Rage, for, for me anyway, the luck has been on my side to get it from here. There's Barrel Diffusion. 
Very, very good mod. Staple in every single secondary. Stretch. There's an amazing power mod that you're going to use a hell of a lot. Yeah, that stuff doesn't stop here, though. So, this also has that, which looks pretty similar to the orbs that we just went over. So, you're going to need to get up there. You can just climb this wall to get up onto there. So, destroy that orb. Let it blow up. And uh, we'll be able to see with our scanner. There they are. Those can also have mods in them. Just pull a jump towards the bottom to get that. Got to reach. Yeah, those can also be mods. And then when we come back here, hit this button. There are two more sides that can be mods. Oh, it opened that side for me. Hit this button. And you can see it open that just to show those. However, there are some on both sides. Which can be mods. Didn't have any on that one. You see this door opened. Opens a trap. Yeah, there are these four containers on both sides that can all have mods in them. And then that finishes off this room. That is the best vault you can get by far because it has the most crates. Oh, okay, good. I was pretty sure that those ones could be mods, but I hadn't gotten the drop in a while, so. There we go. Yeah, really solid room for that. Barrel Diffusion's an amazing mod. Uh, and then just make sure, use M if you need to, to open up your big map. And just make absolutely sure that you're not missing anything, because I'm not going to lie, very easy to miss like otherwise very important things trash room uh this room that we're in right now is a trash room there's never going to be anything in here there's a couple other spots i'd like to hit up obviously from this before we saw that these could drop mods for us uh, also uh, i would like to note that it is not limited to one treasure room or anything like that there can absolutely be multiple treasure rooms per tile this is a treasure uh and Make sure there's nothing above. Uh, nope, that's just an end cap. Okay. Now we've searched this branch thoroughly. Uh, also, it's worth noting, because you're not really farming affinity or whatever, if you die here, it really doesn't matter at all. Uh, you're not going to lose the capture mission or anything as the mission is already completed, so you're absolutely free to just learn as you're here. All right, moving on, as we set up here, these containers can have mods. Also worth noting, uh, this is also a good way to search for um, rare containers, which this is the rarest kind of container. Grabbing these, grabbing some mods. And then the rest of this room is trash. Obviously, like the time the time that you save knowing what rooms are trash is massive, which I think is very clear. And honestly, I think that uh, oh, you know, this is an important room. So uh, all of the um, mods in the sides are, um, or all of the containers in the sides can possibly be mods. I'm just gonna clean up these enemies real quick. Uh, you can use Excal to just hit through and get them, uh, but also you can hit these to open some walls. But we're just going to use Xcal to get all these containers open and potentially get some mods. Any containers that are in the middle of this room cannot be mods. Uh, like that container right there can't be a mod. And that container will explode. Uh, but yeah. That room can have mods in the sides. This room again, the orbs up top, they always spawn. Uh, it's also worth noting that if you don't bring Excal, uh, you can still get these, but you have to be fast on it. If you hit this button, it'll open for a second. Or it should open for a second. Alright, I didn't want to, I guess. So we'll just use Exalted Blade to do it. Yeah, Exalted Blade, something that goes through walls, very, very long melee weapons like Orthos Prime. Bringing something like that just to do it for you. Pretty, pretty nice to have, gotta say.
Also, if you're worried about energy generation, uh, if you completed the second dream and chose Zenerik, even just the very first level of the uh, energy generation for Zenerik will do it for you. Uh, this room, as we said before, only these side containers can have mods. Obviously, the middle ones in this one are explosive, so those definitely aren't going to have anything in them. Uh, but yeah, any mods down here, like that's not going to have a mod, and any other containers around here are not going to have a mod. Only the ones in the cubbies will have anything. Check this way. Uh, that room is not going to have anything. In this room up top, these can have mods. There we go, that's flow. Also a staple mod. And over here, trash room, can skip it. Uh, also, it's worth noting that I haven't seen any containers in here, so I don't know if any spawn in there ever, but they, those could be potential for mods. It's also worth noting there's a possible treasure room spawn in this room, but we didn't get it this time. But but those, uh, those little elbow rooms, make sure you check them, because uh, sometimes they open up into a treasure room. And that treasure room is quite good. There's basically two variants of that elbow. Alright, so moving on, and... Oh, hold on. And we're just basically checking every branch. Trash room. Trash room. You can just skip it immediately. Saves you a ton of time. Do not damage it further. There we go. And I don't care about Samaris' target. Let's go. Yeah, two runs. Obviously, got pretty lucky. Uh, barrel diffusion flow and, like, the big variety of mods we got. Got another relic. Like, these are good runs. Like, this is a lot of mods. Uh, and obviously, any duplicates you're getting are being turned into endo. This is a great way to get yourself caught up on a lot of the staples if you don't have them. Uh, and I think there is... There's one more thing that I want to get, um, so we're going to cut to that so I can show you a couple specific rooms. Okay. Actually, I haven't had a lot of opportunities to check these ones. Okay, they can. Alright, so, those crates that I just checked, those can have mods in them. I've only had, like, four of these rooms, like, period. They can totally have mods up here. Alright, so, that's important. This trap room, it is a trap room, because you'll see lasers. Uh, up above, in these in these little cubby holes, they can, they can totally have mods up here. I wasn't 100% sure. I figured they would, but I didn't want to assume anything. Can totally have them okay this runs hall is continuity seeker obviously you can't win every time but continuity is a pretty big win another relic really good stuff here give me the circle connector you bastards i mean like this is fine but give me the circle connector oh stalker just go away You can't run from me. Yeah, I'm sure. Hi, how you doing? Tuesday? Tuesday. It's very possible. Please leave. Thanks. Yes! I finally got it! Okay! This is the circle room! It, okay, so circle room has a, uh, has a drop in it. It's over... It's on here. It's my left. Okay. So. Eh. That's okay. Fuck those enemies. There, there they are. So that's the justice proc breaking those. Uh, so. They're in there. This button can either turn this on, which it did that time, or open this wall. Only the crates that are behind this wall can drop anything in this room. 
So that's that's one of the ones I was missing. This is circle room. It has a lot of connectors. Make sure you check all of the ends of it. Uh, because that's important. We have this room again. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the non-trap, isn't it? Yeah, this is the non-trap variant of that room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so never mind. Oh, we don't have that room again. That's the non-trap variant. The trap variant of this room has crates. Okay. Alright, that's one of the main rooms I wanted to show. Uh, we have this room again. Uh, there are two more treasure rooms. There's a baby-sized treasure room. And there's the Mega Vault that has, like, a shit ton of crates. And I haven't gotten either of those. So I might just have to not show those. Um, it's worth noting that the Derelict often has the tiny room, but it's in its corrupted form. And the huge room, but without the crates that actually drop anything. Okay, so, final run. Got Barrel Diffusion, some other stuff. Stretch is really good. Lots of other good stuff in here. Um, and that's gonna be the last one I'm gonna do. Um, there are two other treasure rooms. One was on that elbow room, and the other one is a very tiny vault that's just by itself. It usually has about four crates in it, um, that I won't be able to go over. But, that is, um, void container farming. Uh, I'm probably gonna put up the, like, just raw of me doing all the runs and the shortcut, so, if you're watching one of those, hi, uh, and, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow.